Like to introduce our new product line that we have. We have the ModCon Million and Million 7 unit. These come in both boilers and in VWH models. The beautiful part about this system, this ModCon double stack system, is not only do you get greater turndown up to 10 to 1, but you also have redundancy in your system. What I mean by redundancy is that one system goes down, the other will pick up automatically. So the building is never down for heat or hot water, depending on which model you select. Another thing that we've done with this system, these ModCon, ModCon boilers and VWH units, is we've tied the manifold. So in other words, we've pre-piped everything. We've done reverse return piping. The gas piping's done for you. The venting is done for you. Um, the only thing you have to do is just do some basic programming in your system, outdoor reset, or if you have 0 to 10 volt, connect that up and simply install it in and install it in your installations and you're ready to go. So let me take you through the unit. I'm going to show you a little bit more specifics of how we piped it, how it works, uh, to give you a better idea of the advantages of our new ModCon Million and Million 7 double stack system, both in VWH and boilers. So let me take you around. I'll show you the unit. ModCon double stack, the thing that we've done for you is we've pre-piped everything. Not only the gas piping, as you can see here, but we've also, on the return and supply piping, we've already done that. We've also designed our piping so it's reverse return, so we get balanced flow through each module, each boiler, the top and the bottom. You can see here, even on the, the supply manifold, we have a sensor, and the sensor is on the outlet side of the system, what this sensor does is it reads temperature. So it reads the common temperature that both units are supplying out to the loop, whether it's a VWH or a boiler, it really doesn't matter. And what we're doing is, based on that temperature and based on what we're trying to achieve in the set point that you want in the building, whether it be a 0 to 10 volt single that you're sending to control the temperature or an outdoor reset curve that you have with this boiler, this sensor will then tell the master boiler, the main boiler, what to do. And you can see here we have this cable and what we're doing is we have this cable which is our communication cable and the master will then send a single down to the follower if needed to come on and to basically modulate to maintain a set point on this supply sensor. So the beauty of this is, is that we do all this work for you. We supply not only the gas piping pre-manifold, the hydraulic, the uh, inlet and outlet piping are done, and this, uh, this is both on the VWH and on the boiler, but we also, on the vent, we supply that already done. So you have one single hookup in the system. And then on the wiring of the system, we have our communication cable that's already plugged in, and then when you get your boiler, all you really have to do is program what you want as far as a reset curve, or a set point and the boiler will self-regulate based on what it's seeing on the supply sensor automatically. One of the key elements to this is not only do we get we save you time on installation by doing this and shipping it in one crate all done but the boiler and its principle is by having these stacked units you not only get the 10 to 1 which I mentioned earlier but you also have the redundancy which is a real key feature in this product. The product is the main purpose is, is that you don't buy one large boiler to do your building or to supply domestic hot water. You have redundancy. And that way, if something happens with one boiler, you can keep the place operating. You still have the bottom unit take over the load or the top unit, whichever one you're working on or whatever might happen in the future. The whole point is that redundancy is a very key feature to this design. So again, all units come. The plumbing's already done for you on both the return and supply piping. The gas piping's done. Wiring's done. The sensors are already installed on the, the uh, manifold piping. 
um, on the uh, vent. The vent is already done for you. Uh, you just have to connect the vents that we put in the package with the shipment of the boiler. So it's all common vented. Uh, one, one vent connection is all you need. And in the unit, which I'm going to go over in a little bit, which I'll take you inside and show you how it's set up, uh, we have checks on the outlet of the fans, which won't allow. So if I'm running one boiler, it won't allow any back pressure to go into the, the bottom boiler. So those are some of the key features that I wanted to show you about the unit and how it's shipped to you. So let's take a look on the inside, and I go over some of the combustion system and some other elements of the ModCon double stack that I'd like to show you. show you uh, the uh, display that we have on this unit. We have, this is the front of the unit um, where we have our off on button. This is CSD1 so if you ever, there's a little uh, bar that goes in here and it's put into the unit if, so when you're servicing it that nobody can uh, turn it on. That's one of the CSD1 requirements. That's why we've got these red rails on the side here and an eyelet there. But this is our uh, main display that you would have uh, on the ModCon double stack. It's a 40 character multi display. Uh, we have these arrow keys here where you can toggle through the different menus, enter keys for programming, reset will reset a fault, um, and we have an LED here which will illuminate red if there is a fault in the system. And then we have this other uh, uh, blue uh, LED which is for the Cascade Master, and it'll tell you on the ModCon DAC double stack, the one that we've selected as the master boiler, the other one would be the follower uh, that we program for you in the factory. Um, and it's nice to know that even though we'll, we're, we're going to have each one will be the bottom boiler will be the master, but uh, that light will illuminate and it'll indicate what that is. The uh, nice thing about this display is it gives you a lot, it gives you real word text, it gives you a lot of information as far as outdoor temperature, what your set points are, uh, supply and return temperature, what the system sensor is doing, what the cascade loop is looking at. Um, so it can give you a lot of information as far as what the boiler is physically, physically trying to do. Um, so this display has a lot of additional features on a double stack that comes as standard equipment uh, um, on both the double stack VWH models and the double stacked uh, boiler models that we have, we supply with the ModCon. Looking at the ModCon, looking inside the ModCon uh, uh, double stacked units, you'll see the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is obviously the key element to the efficiency. Um, it's got multiple circuits in it and it provides very good flow, very good heat transfer. Um, one of the other things that we've designed within this, you'll notice these heavy duty rail systems which the heat exchangers rest on. And then we have lock in brackets that are easily, they can be taken out very easily and you can slide the whole heat exchanger out. We have little clips on the return and supply so if you ever have to replace a module or a heat exchanger it's easy to do. Um, that's both on the bottom and the top unit so if you have a problem with one of the units long term 20 years down the road you can go ahead and service the top boiler and keep the bottom boiler running while you're doing your service work. Again that's the importance of the redundancy. We also in our electrical enclosure you'll notice that the electrical enclosure closes all the electronics, keeps it separate from the boiler cabinet where we bring air in and it develops a lot of heat over time and it's important to keep those isolated so that's what this block does here all of our electronics and field connections and wiring is done in this box our fan is designed like all of our other mod cons it has this the it's a DC driven fan it has power going in and this is the pulse width which regulates the speed of the fan and then we have our Venturi coming in and then our flex line going down on our inlet gas piping when we draw a vacuum, we put the gas and air uh, under pressure um, in the combustion chamber. We draw a vacuum here and draw that gas and air and we mix it, put it through the head of the burner, and it creates very clean, very efficient, low NOx combustion. Um, we also have another feature of the combustion system is that there's a check 
on the outlet of the fan. What that check does is it eliminates any back feeding through the combustion system. So if I'm running the bottom unit and the top unit's off in the boiler rotation, um, it won't allow any combustion gases to back feed through the system. This little wire connection here, there's a sensor, and that sensor is making sure that that check is in the correct position. So we actually monitor how that check works. So when the unit is operating, obviously the check needs to be open to allow the gas and air to flow in and, and basically into the burner so we can have combustion. When the unit's down and it's not operating, the fan's operating, we want to make sure that that check is closed. So that's what these two wires do here. Um, on the gas valve, you notice that the gas valve is pretty standard to what we have. We have these two blocks. These two blocks allow us to put a high and, high and a low gas pressure switch right onto these blocks. They just simply screw on, and then we have these wire harnesses that are all pre-done for you. And off of the gas switches, we have wire harnesses that just simply plug into these, so you can sim you have to wire them. So there's no going up to a terminal strip, having wires coming from the gas pressure switches all the way up. We do it all for you. That's what makes this real nice. And we have a connection for the high and the low. And then the gas valve is standard for us. Um, it ha it's easy to adjust. Um, we can do conversions from natural to LP. We have two isolation valves here to isolate the block uh, for ease of service if you ever have to do it. And again, everything is located in a very, it's a very simple, compact package. Our electronics are separated from the combustion system. And uh, it's, it's a very efficient uh, means to not only work on a combustion system, but also keep it very, so it's very simple. And I think you'll find that the uh, ModCon double stacked units, the parts are all the same. We have one fan, one gas valve for each series of models. And uh, so there's a lot, of, lot less inventory involved as far as parts that you would need for this appliance versus other competitors' units. And again, the big thing is if they ever have to do anything in this combustion system, we can be running the bottom unit while I'm sitting here working on this top unit. That's the beauty of this, is that we'll, the building will always be in operation. So we hope that these features are something that you see as a value and you'll give us a shot uh, in, on your next job. And whether it's water heating or boilers, um, I think you'll see that the ModCon double stacked is the best selection for your job.